Hey guys, how we doing? I've been getting a lot of questions on uh, the understanding unit rate concepts, um, or actually just understanding rate concepts, especially double number line. Uh, and we had just started getting into ratios and rates, um, but we didn't really explore too, too far uh, into how to actually use these double number lines. Um, the problem that we've got is Max travels to see his brother's family by car. He drives 216 miles in four hours. What is his rate in miles per hour? Miles per hour. Um, and whenever we see a per hour, it's it means per one hour. So we're looking for, you know, if he traveled 216 miles in four, how many did he travel in one? Uh, and it says use double number line to show your work. Well, we're, we already know regular single number lines like this, uh, and we'll set up a double meaning two, a second one right below. And we'll do miles on top and hours on the bottom. Now with these double number lines, the important thing to know pattern wise is that it'll start with zero for the hours and zero for the miles, which makes sense. He's gone zero miles and zero hours when he first starts. It means like the car is totally stopped. Right. Um, and then uh, he'll go one, two, three, four hours down here. And in those four hours, he's traveled 216 miles. So what we'll just do is we'll line these tick marks up so that it uh, starts from the four and it goes up to the uh, top number line with miles. So in four hours above, he's gone 216 miles. And again, the question is, what is his rate in miles per hour, per one hour? So um, if we were to label like these uh, number lines below, where the hour number line, it would be labeled one, two, three, four. And we, we want to try to figure out if he went four hours, how many miles would he go in one? So we'll just draw a line up there, put a question mark. This is what we're trying to figure out. Um, so this is kind of how you would set the problem up. Um, you can also um, match up the tick marks too, and you'll notice that like the top is divided into into four sections, just like the bottom. So we could take 216 and divide that four times to try to figure out what each tick mark up top is. And without giving you too much, that's how you set up a problem. Um, and feel free to uh, let me know if you've got any questions, but this is a, a great example of something that you might be doing uh, a lot in seventh grade. So good luck, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.